All right, we're gonna move to another part of the video here and we're gonna test the coil, the stator coil that's in here and that's what comes up to this connector. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up for ohms. Just gonna grab that. Okay, and I'm going to Let's see if you guys remember this from your train, because you guys were using the training boards, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just make it easier here. And we're going to, we have, to, we have a coil in there with three windings. And what we want to do is we want to test between all those windings. Okay, so hook up two leads. Just hold this, please. And it is best to use alligator clips and leave it alone, okay? We zeroed our leads to take out any potential resistant in the leads themselves. So now we're going to go ahead and hook across the stator. It's fine without the fuse in it, okay? Let's go ahead and test that. All right, we're just going to go one leg to another. Point, point 0.5, that one's good. Switch it. Those fuses really throw us off on those poor leads, aren't it? Yeah. 0.5, now switch the middle one over. So the continuity between all those is good. And even if we went to 0 0.6, we had 0.1 of, uh, of resistance in there. We would subtract that from those. So we're, we're good. We're within our spec. So now we just take one side of this. And we're going to go to the negative battery cable here since we're still hooked up and we should have nothing. Okay. We know they all have continuity to each other, so we don't need to switch in between each of those. So this tape, this stator is testing good, which we would expect it to. What we're going to do next, and this is why I don't think you guys have done yet, is we're going to do an AC output test. So that means we need to run the motorcycle. We're going to just simply switch our meter. We don't have to switch leads. We're going to go to AC volts. We're going to go ahead and start the motorcycle. Let's see, we do that. Yeah, and uh, can I see the manual? I'm going to see what the spec is, if they give us an AC output spec. All right, go ahead and fire up the motorcycle. What you're able to see here... Hold, hold that. What you're able to see... You've got to be hooked up across two coils. We're making 20 C8, 27 AC volts across those two. What we saw is at idle, we had, what, 25, 26 volts AC mm -hmm. across all three legs. What we want is we want them to be equal. I mean, if we had 20 across all three of them, remember in that Suzuki video, that mechanic to mechanic video, they talked about, you know, even if the spec was a little low or a little high, as long as they were all the same, the stator's probably good. It's just how many times it's wound around there. And then you notice as we revved it, do you see how high that AC voltage got? Mm -hmm. That is exactly why, so at idle, we have 26 volts AC, we're going to rectify it, change it to DC volts, and we don't want any more than 15.5 going into the battery. You can see how important it is to rev the engine up, because at 86 volts AC, does this regular rectifier have a lot bigger job to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. That's uh, some multiple ways that you could test the uh, charging system on your uh, motorcycle. It's very similar from one model to another.